untouchables who were they and why they became untouchables by baba saheb ambedkar part 2 chapter 5 are there parallel cases one are there any cases known to history of broken men living outside the village to this question it is possible to give an affirmative answer fortunately for us we have two reported cases which show that what has, what is said to have occurred in india particularly has also actually occurred elsewhere the countries wherein such a development has actually been reported to have taken place are ireland and wales the organization of the irish village in primitive times can be seen from the brehon laws of ireland some idea of it is revealed in these laws may be obtained from the following summary given by sir henry main so as sir henry main the brehon law discloses a stage when the tribe has long been settled in all probability upon the tribal territory it is of sufficient size and importance to constitute a political unit and possibly at its apex is one of the numerous chieftains whom the irish records call kings the primary assumption is that the whole of the tribal territory belongs to the whole of the tribe but in fact large portions of it have been permanently appropriated to minor bodies of tribesmen a part is allotted in special way to the chief as appurtenant to his office and descends from chief to chief accords according to a special rule of succession other proportions are occupied by fragments of the tribe some of which are under minor chiefs while others do not strictly ruled by a chief have somebody of noble class to act as their representative all the unappropriated tribe lands are in a more special way the property of the tribe as a whole and no portion can theoretically be subjected to more than temporary occupation such occupations are however frequent and among the holders of the tribe land on these terms are groups of men calling themselves tribes men but being in reality associations formed by contract chiefly for the purpose of pasturing cattle much of the common tribe land is not occupied at all but constitutes to use the english expression the waste of the tribe still this waste is constantly brought under tillage or permanent pasture by settlements of tribesmen and upon its cultivators and servile states are permitted to squat particularly towards the border it is part of the territory over which the authority of the chief tends steadily to increase and here it is that he settles his few dhar or stranger tenants a very important class the outlaws and broken men from other tribes who come to him for protection and who are only connected with their new tribe by their dependence on his chief and through the responsibility which he incurs for them who were these few dhars according to sir henry main the few dhars were strangers or fugitives from other territories men in fact who had broken the original tribal bond which gave them a place in the community and who had to obtain and then as best they might in a new tribe a new place society was violently disordered the result was probably to fill the country with broken men and such men could only find a home and protection by becoming feudal tenants the feudal was not a tribesman but an alien in all societies cemented together by kinship the position of the person who has lost or broken the bond of union is always extraordinarily miserable he has not only lost his natural place in them but they have no room for him anywhere else the end